everyone. Good to see you, have you join me. I promised you a reformer workout, and this one's just gonna focus on the footwork. So the double leg footwork, the single leg footwork, everything right up until our very favorite move, the 100, all right? And I just want this to be, for some of you, it's just gonna be, I know that, I, I could do that in my sleep. And others of you are still getting that routine, or we're just starting to get that routine before our break in the coronavirus. So. I wanted to go through it. Some of you will just have a good time listening to my voice, going through the cues. Let the cues also help you in your daily activities, all right? So thinking about when you're doing something, even if it's just doing the dishes at the kitchen sink. All right, so I'm gonna get started. I've got my reformer set up for my height. So I've got two holes showing on the side and foot bars all the way to the top. Three reds and a yellow is where I'm gonna work out today. It's a nice spring. Um, and we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna lay myself down and we're gonna get going with a Pilates V. All right, so that's the first position. Taking a moment, just feel that my head is in the center of the headrest, I'm centered on the shoulder rest, and then rib cage pelvis all the way through my tailbone. My heels together, toes apart, working that Pilates V, external rotation, taking a breath in and out, and I'm gonna just start pushing out. Now I'm gonna do 10, but you know how I get Lost in counting, so bear with me. All right, and I'm breathing, and I'm neutral through all of this. So I'm conscientiously holding that rib cage and pelvis in that neutral position. I'm gonna get one more done, and then I'm gonna bring it in, and I'm gonna just eyeball my foot bar. You can always pop your head up to see where you're going, but toes wrap, literally wrap the toes over the top of the foot bar. Heels are allowed to bend, all right? And I want to feel the sensation of I'm pulling the carriage in. Even though I know the springs will bring me right back to that stopper, I want to be in control and breathe it in and breathe it out. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and nice and quiet. And I'm going to get one more. And then I'm going to keep my legs tight together, adducted, walk up to my heels and feel the heel pads on the foot bar now and push out. Quads, thighs firm up, patella rides right up. I get that moment of a squeeze in my glutes. All right, I want to feel that. I get that all the way through and then take it up into the core, take it up and tuck it up under your rib cage. So instead of out, in. And we'll go four, three, two, high half toe, Barbie dolls. All right, so. Dropping down, I'm still in that body midline inner thigh connection. Heels are elevated. So I'm working my calf muscles consistently. They're not getting a break, all right? I'm staying in that high half toe position and I'm pulling that carriage in. And I wanna do four, you can just peek, three, two, one and hold. Drop the heels, lift the heels, 10, nine, and I'm stabilizing the knees, stabilizing the hips, stabilizing the core. Five, four, three, connected, one. I'm gonna do another set. So two sets of 10. Nice and quiet, whip carriage. Seven, eight, nine. And I'm gonna pull that carriage in and I'm gonna push right back out and I'm gonna run for 10 rounds. So left, Heel drops, that's two, three. Nice exchange. I'm trying to get lots of mobility in my feet, through my toes, through my ankles, and the quiet core while I get it done. And we got two, one, pull it up into high half toe to pull the carriage in. Heels on the foot bar, sit bone distance apart. All right, and I'm gonna just peek, and then I'm out and in. This is the most simple one, all right? If you can imagine, you're standing up out of a chair, you're sitting in a chair, you're not gonna pop out of that chair and you're not gonna plop into your chair. And you're just gonna keep that smooth. And I pull my carriage in, I'm pulling through the back of my knees, back of my thighs, core, my hip flexors, my rib cage. And let's hit the last three, two, one. Heels are gonna go very wide on the foot bar, Peek up and look. You want that even. And then thighs are going out. 
The knees follow, the toes follow. So I'm not forcing the rotation out. I'm going where my body likes. Sometimes I'm tight and that will feel a little stretch in the inner thighs, but that should go away pretty quickly as you go. Same idea, pull the carriage in. Steady core all the way through. Level, supported, wrapped around. I'm gonna go ahead and get 20 on these. We've been doing that lately. And it just feels good to get the hips a little more action, a little more warmth. Kick into your external rotator, your rear cheek zone. And that's four, three, two. And I'm gonna roll inward. I'm gonna see if I can keep my heels where they are. Roll inward. If I can't get that connection of the thigh, I can walk my heels in, but I've got it today. And just peek that uneven and push out and in. Feeling the internal rotators on this work. External rotators get a little stretch, but sometimes people feel those external rotators more than the internal, especially if they're tight. All right, they're gonna feel the stretch sensation rather than the work sensation. And again, I'm gonna get 20 on this one. And then the same idea, I want those hips nice and open, limber, good blood flow, take a nap into the core. I got my last four, three, two, one. And at this point, I'm gonna pop up so I can switch my spring load. So I'm gonna drop a red. Most of us do two reds, some of us do two reds and yellow, some of us do two reds and a blue, all depends. I'm first gonna put my feet in high half toe, sit bone distance apart. And I can peek up, kind of eyeball where I'm at. And then I'm gonna leave that left leg in tabletop and er, in, oh, I'm gonna leave that left leg there and tabletop my right leg and here I go. I'm gonna do five with tabletop. And what I want to achieve here is just that level pelvis rib cage, steady as a statue, good working leg. Bicycle, five. Getting the exchange, getting a little more hip movement. I'm still steady, two. And then the developé. I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna go slow on this first one. Touch the foot bar, lift right back up, flex both feet, so that foot bar leg too. Point, bend, return, go a little more smooth. Touch, lift, flex, point, bring it in, reach it up. There's a stretch in the hamstrings. Flex point, reach it through, and lengthen. Touch, lift, bend, and last one, reach, touch, lift, flex, point, bend the knee, return. High half toe, right foot, table top, the left leg, and you're ready for your other leg. Holding that table top, five of those, and then we got five of the bicycle. I'm checking that this left side isn't collapsing of that leg, just being out in space. So I do have some supports. And then the developing, I go slow, touch, lift, flex both feet, point both feet, bend the knee, bring it over the foot bar, bring the leg up to the ceiling, touch the foot bar, flex both feet, point both feet, return, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and lengthen. Hamstrings giving a little, that's a nice thing. And last one, up, touch, lift, flex, point, return. Single heel work, heel on the foot bar, sit bone distance apart, other leg, I'm reaching it. I don't want it straight up, I don't want it too low either because then it, there is something that kind of gives. I want to be actively holding that leg, and I'm going to give it 10. Now that foot's very flexed, hip, knee, sit bone alignment. I can kind of see in my peripheral vision here. And again, I'm anchoring on my left, supporting my right side as I get along. So the first 10, we hold it out in parallel. Now roll at the hip socket and give me five more. 
All right, the leg is still in that sit bone alignment. I've just pivoted in the hip socket. Two, and then I'm gonna pivot inward at that hip socket. Knee and ankle are the same. This leg is still working strong. Four and five. Switching it up, sit bone, lengthen, active, 10. Support the left side, anchor the right side. If I put a level on your pelvis, we want it level. We wouldn't want it dipping down to the left. All right, three, two, one. I'm gonna roll outward, all at the hip socket. External rotators. Obliques are cutting in to help me from keep going. And I'm rolling five, four, three, two, one. Then I'm gonna put that left heel back on the foot bar sit bone. This is one we've added on. I'm gonna sneak that right leg under the foot bar and I want that foot pointed. I want that leg active, all right? So it's not just hanging out. And I know I'm shooting out the screen on that one, but I'm gonna keep that leg hovering and work this. Now for me, I gotta pay attention. That rib cage would like to pop right now. So I gotta really just get a little anchoring down with the rib cage because the weight of the leg is pulling on my core, challenging my core. And last two and one, switching, sit bone, right heel, left leg, long, pointed, active. Check that rib cage for me. All right, everybody. And, and last four, three, two, one. Both feet. I'm gonna drop down to my high half toe, my Barbie doll sit bone, and I'm just gonna take a moment and run here. We are done with the footwork. We did the double leg, we did the single leg. The next activity we all get to do as a group is the hundred. So at this point, I'm gonna pull my carriage in, ditch that yellow spring, and I'll see you next time for the hundred.